science is about pushing the boundaries of what we understand about the world around us. Science is all about discovery. Seeing things that nobody ever has seen. Science for me is, first of all, passion. Passion to shift our knowledge. Trying to understand disease. It's a permanent challenge, but at the same time, it's a permanent fascination. I love to work with talented, motivated students, and I like to see how they develop this passion as well. Research is sometimes like a jigsaw puzzle. There are some corners and there are some pieces that are still not there. You have an outline, but you can't really be sure what the puzzle will look like. You find one key and you try to fit all the pieces together. Then you see that the shapes match, they click together, and finally it makes sense. So the aim is to be able to develop the next generation of scientists. Epicross Borders is a collaboration between the University of Edinburgh and the Helmholtz Centrum Munich. It's very, very unique to have a joint PhD programme in two countries with two top institutions. The Epicross Border programme has a mobility programme that will allow the student to start building their own international research network very early on. Epigenetic community in Munich is one of the best around the world. Edinburgh is also a place where really exciting epigenetic research happens. The driving force of research are PhD students, and this is why we aim at having them as successful as possible by providing excellent training and state-of-the-art equipment. Together we can provide a training to our students that no one can compete with. Epicross Borders is for epigenetics across borders. Epigenetics is a layer of information above our DNA sequence. It's able to change in response to environment. It's all about addressing questions that touch the theme of One Health. If you're thinking from a One Health perspective, you suddenly begin to consider factors that might not traditionally have been part of your research. My grandma suffered from dementia. My research hopes to kind of help understand the relationship between air pollution and dementia. I look specifically at how father's health at the time of conception affects the development of the baby. My topic is multi-generational impact of future atmospheric climatic conditions and that could help us in understanding how climate change affects crop yield. Epigenetics is actually one of the, the scientific principles that actually spans the whole domain and that's very rare. At the moment, we have 34 students coming from 14 different nationalities. We, on the professor side, we try to have an open culture. We try to be present for them. And not in a controlling way. I know that I'm still an independent thinker, but I can still expect that support when I feel like I'm lagging behind. They organize a lot of scientific training workshops. I am supported, especially with the paperwork here. Oh my God, I can't imagine doing that alone. You always have someone to take care of you. I, I like that. <laughs> you need to bring a curiosity. It's very much a roller coaster. A lot of perseverance is required. Having a really supportive community around me and a really nice lab to work in makes it easier. Best thing you need is patience in science. Modern research is very difficult and it's very competitive, but part of the way to get ahead is to actually work with different research teams that enable you to maximise your skills. The students really can see how it works, how is the culture in different labs, how is the mindset of different PIs. I feel that if different-minded people work together, they'll work phenomenally. I also find the journal clubs that we have to be very enriching. So in our research, we aim to build bridges between the disciplines. The programme is extremely successful. We've recruited world-class students and we've had a number of exciting collaborations. We're getting much more interest from many more project leaders and supervisors and students to look for and take up these opportunities. 
So my vision for the second half is for us to be able to build on our achievements to make more exciting discoveries. The Epic Cross Border students can become multiplier of the interconnecting nature of epigenetic research. They can help the community to share knowledge faster and also allow us to make steps towards a healthier future faster. The output from this investment get stronger and stronger over the coming years. This is a quote from Newton say, I have been seen further because I'm standing on the shoulder of giants, so why not be the giant?